Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about an easy level problem from lead code. The problem name is cousins in a binary tree. So problem statement goes like this, that you are given a root of a binary tree with unique values and the value of two different nodes of the tree X and Y. So you are given as an input a complete binary tree with the root of that tree that is given to you and the values in that tree are unique values. You are also given two extra values X and Y which represents two node values in the particular tree. Don't worry, I will show you with the complete diagram. You have to return true if the nodes corresponding to the value X and Y are cousins in that particular tree. So in, term, in simple terms, you are given two nodes represented by the value X and Y because all the values are like unique. You will actually give you are actually given two nodes and just and remember that uh, with the values X and Y such that you just have to find out whether these two nodes are cousin or not. Now, what all are cousin nodes? Two nodes of a binary tree are cousins if they have the same depth with different parents. Okay, so if different parents are there, but at the same, you can say level, then they both are called cousins. So the, are these two cousins? Can you tell me that? No. Why? Because they come from the same parent. So these two are sibling. Okay, but let's say that there is one more node like this. Then four and five are cousins. Why? Because they are at the same depth. That means like how many nodes are there? If you just take a path from the first uh, like the top root node to this particular node, how much let's say edges are there. So both of them are at the same level. Okay. And both of them are of different parents. So this is uh, the parent of four is two and the parent of five is three. So that is why four and five are cousins. Okay. So you are given as an input, let's say four and five, whether they are cousins or not, or let's say two or three. Okay, like this. So how can you tell that? You can pause this video and try to think over the solution of it for your own first and then you'll move forward. So as you can understand from the question itself, you just have to first understand that what cousins are and after understanding that cousin consists of two values. You have to find out what is their parent for every node, what is their parent and what is their depth. If for these two nodes, so I am given X and Y for let's say any two nodes, uh, this and this. I am given two nodes, you just have to first find out their depth and after finding out their depth, find out their parents itself. Okay. If I know for these two nodes, let's say X and Y, their parents and their depth, I can easily just find out whether they are cousins or not. Okay. So pretty much simple. That is the overall idea that we just have to first find out the depth and the, uh, let's say parent of them. So that can be done using recursion, recursion, like recursively travel, traversing over this whole tree. Now you can just find out for every node, what is the parent and their depth. Now you can find out the depth of every node in O of N. You can just traverse over the tree in, let's say in a DFS manner. Okay. And then find out the depth at each point. Okay. So let's say you start with the depth of let's say zero at this point. Okay. And then as you move, uh, move down in the tree, you will increase whatever your parent depth is plus one. So it will become one then it will become two and so on. Okay. And when you backtrack, you don't uh, do anything, but when you move down the tree, you will take your parent uh, value plus one. Okay. Uh, so depth, uh, the root node has a depth of zero and so on. So as you can see, that is the whole depth idea. And uh, uh, so you can actually just do DFS over here. And how can you find out that parent for every node? You can just check out it whether the left child of it exists. If the left child exists, then this is the parent for this node. So you can actually just send that if the left child exists, I am the parent. If the right child exists, I am the parent. Similarly, now you move forward. If the left child exists, I am the parent. Right child exists, and I am the parent. So for that, you can just do just both of these operations in the same traversal. That is, you can directly just do one DFS and find out the parent as well as the depth of every node, and you can just store them out. Okay. Or else, you can uh, just directly find out that what is the depth and parent for the ith node I'm searching for. Let's say I'm searching for a node x or y or very any node. Okay. You can just directly find out that, and in the end we can just compare it. So what we are trying to do is that in O of N, the number of, let's say nodes in this particular tree, you're finding out the depth and the, uh, let's say the parent of a particular node plus O of N for the other node as well. And then you can just, you, after you get both of these values, you can just compare them out and just print out that. Pretty much simple. That's the complete logic for this particular problem. Let's move on to the code part now to understand it more clearly. So let's. Go and check the code. So what we have done is that there is a starter function, and what we have done is that uh, we have called this calculate function, uh, sending out the root, the node value that I'm looking for, and the depth. That is the starting root node depth is zero. So I have called this same function for x node and the y node, and both of them returned a let's say a pair 
and that pair actually returns the parent and the uh, you can say parent and the depth of that particular node in the end we can just check out that their parent should not be same so this returns a pair so pair first value is the parent so the parent should not be same and their de depth should be same that's the overall idea that how you can just check out if both of the condition turns out to be true they are cousins or else they are not cousins so this is the overall idea now what this calculate function does let's talk about here itself so that's a recursive function that is just doing dfs over this complete tree so dfs is just a recursive part so for any recursive function we have to first write on the base condition and then recursively call this function again so this is the base condition that recursively call this again again and then this is whatever result is passing through the uh, so completing the recursion now what is the base condition if we land upon a node that is already null then we have to return like then we understand that we have come to the end so what this is returning it is returning the parent and the level i am so if i have like say gone out of bound okay so if i have gone out of bound we can return that i have not find the actual parent because i'm looking for the parent of the uh let's say i'm looking for the parent of that node that i'm searching for okay so uh, let's say i'm searching for two so if i'm going out of bound which means that on the left hand side of this two there is no two let's let's take, just take an example so if i don't find out any answer answer is minus one and the level i am okay that is just the base condition if let's say i am on this root node okay and i check out that the left of it is not null okay if the left of it is not null and the left value is the value i'm looking for so if on any node i am on i will because i i am on the parent so i am actually on the parent i will check that the left node exists it exists and the value of it is what i'm looking for so let's say i'm looking for two and the value of it is two so which means that i have find the answer and i will return what i will return the parent and the level of it so the parent of two because it's on the left hand side the parent is this that is the root value that is this value that is the parent and the level of it is this whatever this level is plus one so i'm at this level plus one similarly if the node i'm looking for is on the right hand side i will do the same thing but for the right hand side okay but if both of the node that i'm looking for is not on the left and right side then I will recursively call this function again, go to the left hand side and right hand side and do the same thing. Okay, so I will call this function again on the left hand side, right hand side, and I because I'm going down the tree, I'll increase my level and so on. Okay, now I've got the answer. Now I have whatever I've got the answer for the left hand side and right hand side, I have to uh, like merge it and send it to the top. Okay, that's why it, it, the information will uh, propagate to the top and I will get the answer back. So what you can see is that this is minus one, minus one that I have not find the answer. If I have not find the answer for the left hand side, that is left half of the tree, I return so if i have find the answer actually if this is not minus one if this is not minus one i will have some parent that i have set it here if i have uh, if i have if i have some value that i've set here as you can see that is the base condition for this if i have set the value then this is not minus one if this is not minus one i have got the answer so if, if i have got the answer on the left hand side that is here when i have called this on the left hand side of the tree I return the answer that is this if i got the answer from the right hand side i will return the answer from that tree but if i do, i have not got from either left and right i will return the same thing okay so this is the overall idea when i have not not got the answer and if i've got the answer i will return the answer uh, from either of this one okay that's the overall idea this this, this complete thing is o of n because i'm just covered completely traversing over the whole tree in o of n uh, only one time and so that i will get the answer for uh, again the depth as you can see from here and the parent of it so I, if i got the parent i will only return this if i have actually reached the node that i'm looking for and it will always hit because it states that x and y are in the complete tree so this is o of n for uh first node the second node again o of n completely it's o of n so two t two times o of n that is similarly again o of n so that's a complete time complexity of this complete program as well and that's the overall thing i have no space complexity there might be some stack uh, complexity for recursion but uh, we don't talk about that as in now uh, but yeah i have not created any extra variables that's it that's a complete logic in the code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention in the comment box of this particular video i've already made a video for the cousin in the binary tree true problem that is in a contest so go check out that particular problem as well i will actually also link that particular problem in the event so thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one till keep coding and bye